Pocketbase is an open source backend server designed for solo developers and small teams. It combines a database, authentication system, real-time updates through WebSocket connections, file storage, and all this functionality is packed into a tiny executable file. But it can also be extended like a full framework using JavaScript or Go. It's one of my favorite framework because it comes with so many built-in features. And that means for every app, I don't have to rebuild this functionality. Another cool thing is it comes with a built-in dashboard. In this dashboard, you can log in and manage your backend. Inside here, we can see all the available tables or collections as Pocketbase calls it. And we can also create your new collections. So we can add a name and we can also add all the fields that should belong to these collections. And here you can select what type a field should be. And then we have the API rules tab. Every collection comes with full CRUD functionality API. And we can also set if it should be public available or only available for authenticated users. We can also click on rows and when we do that we can edit the record. Not only does Pocketbase come with email and password authentication, we can also log in with, for example, YouTube, Facebook, GitHub, and so on. All you have to do is add the token for that provider. If we click the API preview button, we can see that the endpoint have a lot of query parameters that we can pass. It has support for paginations, sorting, filtering. You can specify what fields you want. And here you can also preview how the response will look like in the API. If we click the new record button, we will be able to add a new record to the selected collection. Pocketbase also comes with built-in logging functionality. So here we can see the logs for the server. And it has a settings tab where you can configure general server settings, email settings, where you can connect your SMTP server, file storage, and here you can connect a S3 bucket. It can also back up your database, and you can save your backup on S3. It comes with built-in cron jobs, and here are the default cron jobs. But if you extend Pocketbase as a framework, you can add your custom cron jobs. You can export all your collections and download them as a JSON. And you can also import collections here. So this was a quick overview of uh, Pocketbase.